Beef stroganoff is my husband's favorite comfort food. And of course I want to keep him happy, but I want to keep him healthy too. So I came up with this great recipe that has all the flavors of grandma's, but with a fraction of the fat and calories. And he loves it. I love it too. Of course, it starts with the beef, and I've just sliced up thinly here a pound of flank steak, and it's going to serve four people, so it's a real sensible portion. And when you slice steak thinly, it looks like a lot more. So it's a really great way to do portion control without feeling like you have just a measly bit of meat on your plate. So while that's browning, just cut up an onion here. So the flavors in this dish are really simple. It's really no wonder that it's sort of a classic, but this is a classic remade. This is ready to be flipped. Just going to cook the other side for a little bit. You can see all that gorgeous brown in the pan. Equals flavor. OK, these are ready. Just going to transfer this to a plate. And I'm just going to get the onion sauteing right in there. Another two teaspoons of oil. You don't need a lot of oil here. And two teaspoons does it. So don't add all those calories unnecessarily. And I love this part because the onion just really starts to take on the flavor from the meat. So while these soften a bit, cut up my mushrooms. I think mushrooms are one of the most underrated vegetables. They are loaded with B vitamins, and they have about as much potassium as a banana. Right in there. Look at those gorgeous onions. Wow. I'm just going to saute these. Now just a little garlic goes in there, too. All that great flavor. These are just looking gorgeous, starting to brown. I'm going to put the beef back in and get the sauce going. And that starts with a little bit of flour. So I want it to be a nice thick sauce, have some body to it. Sprinkle on top, it's going to thicken the sauce just enough. Then some beef broth, low sodium, and then I add salt to taste later, but I like to be in control of the amount of salt. Right in there. Little wine. You can see this gravy starting to happen. This is thickened up beautifully. I'm just going to turn off the heat here and enter creamy. And here I'm using non-fat yogurt, Greek-style yogurt, which is strained, instead of the traditional sour cream. If I were adding sour cream, it would add 27 grams of fat. Here I'm adding none, but I'm getting all that tangy creaminess. Okay, now I'm just going to plate it up. Got some whole wheat egg noodles. It has twice the fiber of the regular egg noodles, and it has this nutty, earthy flavor that I think works perfectly in this dish. Just get some of this mushroom beef gravy right on top of the noodles. Mm-mm. Parsley. And there it is. Beef stroganoff. Delicious dish you can feel good about eating.